let's say you want to buy a photo camera and you go to Google and first you look for cameras on Amazon and you just click on link. It's actually better to go on Google and look for camera Amazon than to search on Amazon.com cameras. It's, it's simpler to me. So you got these are lots of things. So let's filter. First of all, we're looking for uh, DCLR. And uh, this is also complicated, so to make it easier, we want something which is uh, rated high. And uh, let's go to and do the same thing to Anemag, which is the best Romanian store for uh, overall uh, products. And let's Google, uh, let's do the same thing on F64, which is uh, the biggest uh, shop for cameras on Romania. Okay, so. What I really, really like about Amazon is that, I think, I don't know how, but they, they generally know how to show you what are the quality products. So what do I mean by that? Um, if you look at certain prior, price range, so let's say you want to buy something of $1,000, and uh, you get you have this Canon, let's see, and you have this Nikon, so these two are pretty comparable, but this has now uh, no camera lens, so this is more expensive. Let's see. Uh, okay, this is uh, another one in the price range, but also it's uh, it's a little bit cheaper. So out of the three, this is actually better. Okay, and I, from my research, it it's then it this uh, stands to the test. Another thing. Um, let's say in a higher price range. Let's say you want to pay more. Uh, this is, uh, I think, the best camera for uh, even for uh, professional use. There, there are some more expensive and better, but this is a very good camera. But it is it has an alternative, which is Nikon's, which is slightly cheaper, but uh, much lower. So yeah, it's it's not on the same league. Let's see how this happens to a mug. So let's go to a minimum for thousand, which is uh, more than no. Let's say three hundred. Let's have it like this. It's simple because there's a lot of uh, products are uh, cheap. No, uh, not zero. Ah, okay. Let's have it like this. Okay. So in here, uh, this is uh, it has a price reduction, so it's okay. It's first. Um, in here, Nikon's are much better represented. So if you have a look at this, it's mostly Nikon's. This 70D, which in here is the third product, so it's overall. So it's it competes with all the others. This is third. In here is like the last. I don't know. And people go on Nikon more. And uh, F64. Let's also filter this by price because it, they have a lot of cheap products. So if okay, filter by price. Let me see. They have no option to filter by price. Okay, great. Okay, no, no options. This is what I currently own. A different, uh, every different lens. So an icon is highly high, higher rated. An older version of 70D, I think. I, I think 60D is older version of 70D. Okay, this is also good represented, well represented. 70D, okay. This is uh, this was uh, among the highest on Emag. D800, which is lower on F64 than uh, uh, Canon Mark III, so it's the same as Amazon. This was much better on, uh, but it has a lens, but it was much better on uh, Amazon. Okay, so from uh, 
from what I, I I do this with lots of other products, not only cameras. But from my personal perspective, uh, Amazon is great at telling you a high quality product. So perhaps not the best buy, but a high quality product, and you can get best buy by filtering to your personal. Uh, uh, budget. So if you have, okay, I have 500, I have 400, I have 1000. Um, also, so you can buy the first or the sixth, it's pretty much the same. So I told you that there's a difference between, um, uh, where was it? Mark III and uh, now I'm confused. One, one second. Rebel. From Mark three to the eight hundred, but it's not a big difference. There are not like a thousand products between them. It's not so. It's not a big difference, but uh, I would favor the best-selling products more on uh, Amazon than on other stores. Uh, so if I just want to buy a camera, I'll go just do this, just do the steps. Go Google, go to DCLR, filter because I, I don't want a product which is has low ratings even if it's bought a lot. So filter by this and just then just by budget. So uh, any pretty much any product in the first page is pretty okay, but as higher as it is, it, it, it's, uh, it's worth more. So, I see questions on forums. What should I buy? Nikon, I don't know what, or Canon, I don't know what. This is how you find out. This is very simple. Uh, you should also read the comments, of course, because some has have pros and some have cons. So, um, let's see. Right now, there are only new products in here. So, uh, let's see. I think this is an older version, so you should know. Okay, look, this this has a few years. I I, I own this camera, so uh, should I buy this or the newer version, which is this? Okay, so this you you are answering your own question, you know, and uh, other you you will find D seventy. D D seven thousand D seven thousand okay D seven thousand or another one in the price range if it's higher in here buy that the other one it's it's quite simple to find out and but you should read because uh, the this one is a lot cheaper than the new one so what should you buy you know you should make the decision based on that and read the comments and you you will find out but. With just a simple look, you will find out lots of things. Just a quick glance. Okay, I, I want to buy a camera. Okay, buy like this one of these. It's it's a good option. Okay, thanks. <laughs>